This summer, you may see more yellow jackets than ever. Thanks to mild winters and long dry summers, people and yellow jackets will be seeing more of each other. Live in the studio, we have Sedona Meadows. She's joining us now. Sedona, how can I not stay close to the yellow jackets? Oh gosh, I asked myself this same question. Um, as these temperatures warm up, bugs are coming out, specifically yellow jackets. And I don't know about you, but I am terrified of them. I spoke to an exterminator about the dangers of yellow jackets and just how to avoid them. The heat is bringing more than just sweat. Yellow jackets are making an appearance. Peter Hodge, an exterminator with Crown Service Termite and Pest Control, says they can be dangerous. They have a pheromone uh, to where usually they're not aggressive towards people. Whenever they're attacking something, they'll wind up uh, dive bombing the person and then releasing that pheromone. And then so the other wasps know hey, go attack that person. They light up like a neon sign. But Hodge says avoid swatting these bugs. They're not like your average honeybee. They don't lose their stinger and they can actually bite as well. So if you are wearing like loose clothing and they don't have a good grip with their legs, they'll bite you to hold on and then they just tag you as many times. He says yellow jackets are attracted to sugar. A lot of times when you have like excess fruit on the ground or your trash cans don't close, sometimes if you wear real fragrant perfumes or like you wear bright colors, you kind of just invite them towards you, but they're not aggressive that way. Oftentimes, yellow jackets will burrow in holly trees or even old cars like this one. That nest alone measured 10 cubic feet in size. They can also make a home on front porches, under old trailers and debris and make their colony. Some people don't even know they have them until they run over an area with a lawnmower. So how do you avoid them? So maintaining good landscape, good storage practices, uh, that's kind of the best way to avoid having the problem. And those huge nests can become home for hundreds of thousands of yellow jackets. So it's best to keep an eye out around your home and keep your grass trimmed and items sealed. Sedona Meadows, Fox 54 News.